All right, so. A lot of people have been commenting on my YouTube videos saying, I should qualify, I should qualify. I should fight for, fight the leaders for positions. Um, and that kind of stuff. I always do the last of first, I never qualify. Uh, because as some of you have seen in, in videos, I can go from last to first and win the race. Um, it happens sometimes. It doesn't happen all the time. Sometimes races are terrible. And I don't get through the field. Sometimes I make podium. Um, but we're going to try it. Might as well. So we're in Spec Miata. I have a... Let's actually reset to make sure. The car is going to be stock other than... Let's just drop the roll bar a little bit and up it there. Everything else I'm not going to touch. Not touching anything. Setup's completely stocked, so I'm already giving myself a bit of a handicap. Alright, so after qualifying, I am first place. I ran a 1 minute point f or yeah, 1 minute point 5. Second is a 102 flat. Um, so again, reason I don't qualify is uh, as people have said in the comments chances are I would run away from the pack and it wouldn't be an exciting race um, so we're testing it out once see how it goes if it if it's uh, if it's a good battle for the lead then maybe we'll do it some more um, if not go back to the normal drop into the back of the field so spec Miata we are all in the same car as I showed I made no adjustments to the tune other than the sway bars. Um, qualified for the first time in a long time. Let's see how this goes. Everyone wanted a race where I qualified, so hopefully you enjoy. Already trying to throw the race, but it's fine. The issue with this track, though, or where people run into a lot of problems is here. Because you can pick up some really big corner cutting penalties going through that chicane section. So I try to make it really safe. Um, I'll probably take that slow the entire race just to avoid any penalties. Alright, so we have one guy in my draft here. Now, drafting these cars is huge. You pull quite a bit down the straightaway with it. But we'll see if I can break the draft. Maybe I'll push it through the chicane section one time just to break his draft, and then we'll be uh, set from there. The thing about this car on this track though is pretty much everything's flat out as you can see so there's not a lot of time to be lost or gained anywhere. Um, it's kind of just cruising, hitting your turn in and you're good to go. There's no big braking zones other than T1, there's not really a lot of corners you're not flat out for as soon as you enter them. guy's staying on my tail all right he did qualify quite a bit back for me but it looks like his uh race pace trying to follow me has improved quite a bit but if i shake him off my tail we'll see if he drops back a bit But short track, 
Uh, very flowy, very low power car, so you're going to be flat for almost the entire lap. Hit the corner on, or the curbing on the inside a little too hard there. Pushed me out wide, but we covered it all right. Didn't really hurt. Just slowly pulling the gap now. Again, just taking that section really safe and slow. So a little over halfway through Three more. this race here. Three laps to go, coming up to the first lap traffic car. Again, probably won't see a lot of lap traffic just because uh, there's not a lot of time to be gained or lost. Everything's pretty much flat out. You can only do so poorly. Can't lose that much time everywhere. That's going to be a penalty. 1.3. Penalty is about one and a half seconds. Getting mixed up in the ghosts there, but it's fine. I have that gap in more anyways. Now a lot of people will say that skill-based matchmaking isn't working, but think about this. If you're a uh, very very high skilled player in any game, there's only so many people that you can actually match with that are on that skill level, right? And I talk about this sometimes. Um, so for example, if a player sets a, or is able, oop, messed that up, able to set um, top 10 times or top 5 times or world records how many people can match that skill level now take that and say how many people can match that skill level that are searching for the same lobby at the same time as you same feature multiplayer um, probably not a lot if any so it's probably better that uh, you get matched with people that may be a little slower than you than not matched with anyone at all. Um, so that's uh, something to always think about. Final lap. You got this. So just maintaining the gap here, making sure that with my penalty I'm still fine and I'm plenty fine, even after that big mistake that cost me a bunch of time. I think it cost me like a over a second and a half. And now people are behind me are starting to get penalties too. Safe to say we probably won't be qualifying anymore. It wasn't a fast race, it wasn't a flawless race, but it was uh, good enough to just maintain the lead. And there we go, cross the line. Yeah, that wasn't, uh, that wasn't a whole lot of fun, I'm not going to lie. I'd rather have to get through the field and have some fun with that. Um, but hey, that's all right. That's how it goes sometimes. So tested out qualifying. Uh, I would say that that's not the way, but hey, that's fine. Um, fastest lap time wasn't crazy. Again, I wasn't really pushing. I was kind of just maintaining, um, and other people got some pretty quick lap times in the draft and stuff. So hopefully you enjoyed that. I didn't really. <laughs>